Okay, welcome back, and we're gonna take a look at uh, developing further uh, the other facial features, uh, like the nose and the mouth. We'll take these uh, three points and we'll push them a little bit higher up right here, uh, and that's gonna give us some space to uh, for the mouse. And we may actually later on need to raise some of these points also higher. Uh, but for now, let's just continue on. So we're gonna take uh, these faces here, these four faces, and actually let's reset our symmetry here. There we go. And let's get these faces. And we're gonna use extrude to offset. That should be good for now and let's just quickly oh, let's just quickly there we go here's our symmetry uh, I just kind of relax these because if you'll notice that if we take a look at our geometry in a uh, low poly mode it's a little bit too exaggerated so we kind of want to make sure that everything is nice and relaxed as much as possible that we we can we we're, we we're seeing what we are modeling what we're doing see how these are too too close and actually these all of these points are gonna um, go all the way down here see things better so originally this area here will become the mouse area and we can go ahead and uh, do another extrude here we do not want any offset for now so let's just hit zero here uh, we may do a little bit of a Z axis back but I don't want to shrink this so we'll just use a regular scale tool just like that and maybe push it a little bit further there we go okay now let's uh, let's do the, the the nose let's define the nose a little bit better we're gonna select these faces oh let's get our symmetry back again and we'll select it like this <coughs> and we'll hit connect which will generate <coughs> which uh, generated uh, a section let's grab oh. don't forget to hit enter This is basic structure for the nose. There we go. And the next step, we're going to use our multi cut tool to kind of clean things up. Hit enter. switch to there we go so by doing this we have resolved a triangle into a quad there we go this is the basic nose and but here we still have a five-sided uh, faces which will actually just gonna solve by going all the way around the mouse there we go 
and of course let's just polish things up a little bit We definitely need more edge loops, but we will start adding them in a uh, in a refining process. For for now, our main concern is to make sure that we are uh, developing our primary uh, primary edges, primary uh, edge loops. always a good idea to just kind of go all over throughout the whole model and just make some adjustments the cleaner the cleaner it is the easier to uh, is um, to kind of see where you're going with it and to make additional changes okay Anyway, uh, we could also acknowledge the nose a little bit more uh, if we do want to give it some some indication in indication of nostrils. And the nose bridge. Well, we might start adding some in between edges. Um, we can do it different ways. We can either use a uh, insert edge loop tool uh, or we can use our connect to add a section right here. There we go. So this is important that we add this edge here because again it separates um, the bone area of the nose and uh, a soft soft tissue uh, and car cartilage if we ever want to define that and we can take this tip right here and extrude that that's a little too much may just use offset and let's take a look at how it looks in a low poly mode not bad definitely an exaggerated nose uh, but again we could just use our soft select and fine-tune that a little bit more depending on what type of nose we want to give this guy So the most most of the the rest is uh, is primarily just adding more um, additional edge loops that will allow us to refine uh, an existing structure. But mostly at this point we've got our main 
edges in place and just need to get a little bit more maybe let's get some faces does require a little bit of fine tuning. Okay, let's stop that. We'll, uh, we'll take another round of uh, refinement in the next video and then we'll get into modeling the body.